Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and we are on March Mystery Madness. I am doing person and I went through all my crates and I pulled out any books that I had that had a person's name on the front cover. And I have eight books, I believe, to share. Uh, and remember, I have not read these books. So these are um, in my TBR. I will read the back a little bit to tell you um, anything about the book. So here we go. So I found a strange one that had uh, almost, I thought I had the same exact book, but I didn't. So it's similar, but I'll share it. Okay, so the first book that I have here in this pile is called Haunting Rachel, and it is by Kay Hooper, and it looks like this. It says he's the one on the front, so the name Rachel is right up here, uh, and this says wanting this novel is hair racing, master storyteller. She keeps me guessing until the very end. A uh, multi-talented author whose stories always pack a, a torrentious punch. So that's what it says on the front. So danger wears many masks. Faces. I'm sorry. Oh, I must be thinking COVID. Anyway, 10 years ago, Rachel's fiance, Thomas, disappeared. His body was never found. Now there's a stranger in town, a man who could be Thomas's twin or his ghost. His name is Adam. He's been watching Rachel for days. He has the locket she gave Thomas before he vanished, and he says he owned her father three million dollars. Oh, he owed. He owned his father three million dollars. But there's no record of the loan or the shed of proof that Adam is who he claims to be, and he's always nearby as accidents begin to threaten Rachel's life. Is he an innocent man who only wants to repay a debt, or a figure from the past from the score, with the score to settle? Rachel must expose lies and unravel stories and find out who wants her dead and why, and before the next attempt to kill her succeed succeeds so yeah sounds very interesting so we'll see if that one is picked now here is the two books that i picked off my shelf i have similar titles and i thought i had the same exact book but it's two of the different author authors and then one has a different name actually it's spelled different okay and anyway let me share what i picked out my shelf it's cain and abel by jeffrey archer uh, and I believe that this may be uh, by something about the Bible. I'm not sure though. Um, so this is a mass paperback that I have on my shelf. So let's see what actually this one is about. So sometimes it's hard to read the back because it's like all over the place. A storyteller in the cl class of Alexander Dumas. Archer is a master entertainer, one of the top 10 storytellers in the world. Now I have not read uh, this author before, so I don't know. Uh, so here we go. To mark the 30th anniversary of his publication, Jeffrey Archer has rewritten his best-selling saga for a new generation of readers. They had only one thing in common, William and Abel, one the son of Boston millionaire, the other penniless Polish immigrant, two men born on the same day on opposite sides of the world, their paths are destroyed to cross in their ruthless struggle to build a fortune. Uh, an unputdownable story spanning 60 years of two powerful men linked by an all-consuming hatred brought together by fame to save and finally destroy each other. So that's what this one's about. I thought it was about the Bible, but I guess it's not. Uh, so that's that one. And now I have Cain and Abe 
Uh, this is by a different author and it's spelled different. Cain is spelled with a K, Cain is spelled with a C, and then I have Abe and Abel. So two different books. I thought I had the same book, but here we go. Uh, so this one is about stunning, light gone girl meets Grisham. So I love John Grisham uh, books and I liked Gone Girl. So yeah, so maybe I will like this one. Uh, so let's see what this one's about. Um, uh, da, 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 uh, my, um, Miami, it takes place in Florida. Uh, Prosecutor Abe has been through tough personal times with the death of his beloved wife, Samantha. Now remarried to the supportive Angelina, he throws himself into his work. When a woman's body is discovered dumped in the Everglades, Abe is called upon the mon to monitor the investigation. The F FBI is tracking a killer in South Florida they call Cutter because his brutal methods hark back to Florida's dark past when machete-wielding men cut sugarcane by hand in the glazing sun. Then Angelina goes missing and suspicion uh, surrounds Abe. His closest friends, family, professional colleagues, and the media are no longer trust his motives. Was his marriage not what he'd hoped for because he loved Samantha too much? Or was there another woman and a husband with a dark side who wanted his new wife gone? So that's this one. It seems very dark. Uh, the next book that I have here is Hunting Lila. This is one, one of the very first books I picked up when I started my YouTube channel. I believe that uh, one of the YouTubers that I watched, uh, April, watched, read this and suggested I everybody read it. And so I picked it up. It was in the beginning of my YouTube channel when I picked up every single book that I wrote down. So I don't know what it's about. It says, you can't run from the truth. Uh, Lila was two, has two secrets she's prepared to take to the grave. The first is that she can move things just by looking at them. The second is that she's been in love with her brother's best friend, Alex, since forever. So seems fun and some some supernatural stuff going on in there. So we'll see. <laughs> the next book I have is Remember Mia. Uh, and this is by Alexandra, Alexander Burt. Uh, I hate when Target puts their stickers on top of the author's names. Uh, but that's that. Um, yes, yeah, says a twisty, gripping read, impossible to put down. So first I remember the darkness. Then I remember the blood. I don't know where my daughter is. So yeah, uh, this sounds very fun. Uh, and this I might want to go into blind. It says as riveting as Gone Girl. So yeah, I'm not gonna read anymore because sometimes you read spoilers. So that's that one. Okay, the next one is called Daisy in Chains uh, by Sharon Bolton. Uh, and the name Daisy is in the title. So it never, it, uh, if ever a novel should be read with a friend, Sharon Bolton is Daisy Chain, in Chains is it. So yeah, so let's see what this says on the back. He's a serial killer. Uh, a murder of young women, all killed in brutal attacks. But despite um, Hamish conviction, He's always stuck to his story. He's innocent and he's been wrongly imprisoned. And now he wants someone to investigate and more importantly, to write his story. Maggie Rose is a notorious defense attorney and writer whose specialty is getting convictions overturned. At first, Maggie is reluctant to even acknowledge ha Hamish's request to meet, ignoring his letters. And this is a very... Charmis, charmistic, charismatic, and uh, persuasive man, good looking and intelligent. Eventually, even she can't resist his lure. So, yeah, uh, that's that one. The next one is called My Sister Rosa. 
Uh, and this uh, is a gripping, terrifying, wonderful story that I could not put down, it says on the front. And on the back it says, Dawking, Dawkingly funny, disconcerting. Uh, it's terrifying and brilliant. It's a tense, thrilling, um, psychological of e evil. Uh, the dark thriller in 1956 film, The Bad Seed Meets 216. Our uh, readers will be terrified when Rose is present with when Rose is present and afraid to let her out of their sight. So yeah, that's interesting. Oh, I found a bookmark. A bookmark and it's Snoopy. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Stuck in there. <laughs> All right. What if the most terrifying person you know is your 10-year-old sister? 17-year-old Aussie Taylor loves his younger sister, Rosa. But he is also certain that she's a psychopath. Uh, clinically, threateningly, and dangerously. Recently, Rosa has been making trouble, hurting things. She is the only one who knows. He's the only one his sister's threats. And Rosa is smart, talented, pretty, and very good at hiding what she is and the manipulation she's capable of. Their parents, whose business takes the family from place to place, brush off the warning signs as Rosa acts out. But now that they have moved again from um, Bangkok to New York City, their new hometown provides far too many opportunities for Rosa to play her increasingly complex and disturbing games. She's always been Rosa's rock, protecting her from the world. Now the world might need protection from her. So this sounds creepy. Uh, and I love to read creepy books about kids that are creepy. So, yeah, so that sounds interesting. And the last one I have is called After Anna. And this is by Alex Lake. The real nightmare starts when her daughter is returned. So apparently she gets abducted and then gets returned. And she's not the same after she comes back. So that's an interesting one. I don't really want to know much about it. So that's that one. So that's it for my person books. Uh, hopefully I will be picking one of them up to read. We'll see. Uh, thank you. If you have read any of these books, please comment below and it, it helps me to move them up my TBR and hopefully I will read them soon. So thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye!